I really don't get it because I've never seen a mushroom cook like that. So we're back to the plant-based chicken series. I have made chicken from grapefruit. I have made chicken from wheat gluten. And recently I made chicken from jackfruit. Wow, was that good. Now I've also done a mushroom series where I've turned mushrooms into bacon. I recently did a mushroom steak and one of my favorite recipes was my lobster mushroom. That tasted incredible. I never knew that a mushroom could taste just like lobster. Well today, I finally got my hands on it. A lot of you have recommended that I try it. The chicken of the woods. Now this is a mushroom that's a little hard to come by. It's only around a certain time of the year. I was able to find it from a shop based in Oregon. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now I ordered a pound of this, but unfortunately a lot of it didn't make it over on the trip. So all I have is it's a little less than a half of a pound right here. Now a lot of you have recommended that I try Chicken of the Woods because of its very distinct and incredible taste. Now because I have read that some people are sensitive to Chicken of the Woods, I did fry up a small little piece. I just pan seared it like you would like a chicken breast in a, in a skillet. And my mind was blown away. I have never had a more viable chicken replacement than this mushroom. So I knew that I had to recreate a really good recipe when I was using this. I was thinking about pan searing it like I did, but recently Kentucky Fried Chicken tested their recipe with the Beyond Meat Chicken at one of their locations in Georgia. This was a one day only trial to see how people would react to it. And so far it looks like the reactions were pretty good. So I thought with this incredible chicken replacement, the chicken of the woods mushroom, I could make a KFC chicken finger out of this. So let's fry up some chicken of the woods and turn it into Kentucky fried chicken of the woods. I am so excited about this. So first, before we use our chicken of the woods, you have to clean it. A lot of the chicken of the woods mushrooms are forged out of the woods, so they'll be dirty. They might even have some bugs on them. I picked up a simple scrub brush from the grocery store, uh, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dampen the brush under running water. Don't put the mushroom under running water because the mushroom will soak up a lot of the moisture. And then we're just gonna brush off a lot of the dirt. Once you have the mushroom cleaned off, then we could just start cooking. Now, like I said, with the chicken of the woods, I have read that some people do have a slight discomfort, maybe like a little bit of a bowel dis discomfort comfort. If you're not sure if you can eat chicken of the woods, try a very little piece before you go ahead and try a large piece. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break these into chicken finger sized pieces. Um, and you can kind of really see the chicken type of texture that's happening here. And a few of these have some like dark spots on them just because of the way that they arrived here at the house being in the heat too long. I'm going to cut off some of those dark spots just to make sure these are cleaned really nice, you know. So the recipe that I'm going to be using is from a Chicago Tribune article where a Chicago Tribune writer met with one of the family members from Colonel Sanders and had a, a list of the 11 herbs and spices with the amounts. Now, a lot of other YouTubers have done this, so we're going to follow along with it pretty accurately, but instead of the chicken, like I said, we're using the chicken of the woods. And we're also gonna do this 100% plant-based. We're gonna be using some soy milk. I'm gonna drop in a few drops of lemon juice, which is going to help it buttermilk up a little bit. And then in the wet mixture, we're gonna use a one egg equivalent. Now you can use whatever egg replacer you like. I just like using the Bob's Red Mill. It has always worked for me for these fried recipes. Just tiny whisk that together. That is our nut milk with a little acidity and the egg replacer. This is really gonna add to the flavor of the batter. Now commonly with the KFC recipe, you would put the chicken in the buttermilk mixture right now, let it soak for 20 minutes or so to tenderize up and get a lot of those flavors in the chicken. We don't wanna do that with the mushrooms because the mushrooms will really really draw in a lot of that moisture. So we're only gonna dip these in about a minute prior to actually putting them into the batter. So let's make our KFC flour mixture. So I just need one cup of flour, one teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a teaspoon of thyme, half of a tablespoon of basil, one teaspoon of oregano, half a tablespoon of celery salt, half a tablespoon black pepper, half a tablespoon of dried mustard, two tablespoons of paprika, hope I got enough, one tablespoon of garlic salt, half a tablespoon of ground ginger, and then one and a half tablespoons of white pepper. So here it is, that is our 11 herbs and spices. I'm so excited to see how these come out. This is gonna be so good. 
So we're just gonna heat our oil up to 350 degrees. For the next step, what we're gonna do is we're going to put all of the Chicken of the Woods mushrooms into the wet batter. We're gonna do this fairly quick. It's also gonna help with their moisture level a bit. And then now what we're gonna do is go straight from the wet batter here into the dry batter. We're gonna use our separate hands. And I'm doing the wet hand, dry hand technique since everybody picks on me about that. Now, just to make sure these are completely coated, I'm gonna double batter them. Oh, I just messed up my hands, see? Just messed up my hands, so we're gonna have to switch it out. Oh, they're both, now they're both messed up. I do it every time. And that's it. We're gonna let these guys sit just like this for just a few minutes. I have a feeling this recipe is gonna be wild. Okay, well, I think that looks like KFC. I mean, I'll tell you, I am I'm pretty happy with the look of that. Okay, so at this point, I'm just gonna repeat. I'm gonna fry these all up. Uh, that just looks perfect. I'm gonna tear this open and just see what that texture looks like on the inside. Just like KFC. Look, oh, I mean, look at that. That is unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Oh my God. I can't believe the texture of these. I really don't get it because I've never seen a mushroom cook like that. These are absolutely incredible. I'll tell you right now, if somebody gave this to me, I would think that I was eating chicken. There's no way I would know the difference. That's mind blowing. Absolutely mind blowing. This is the, by far, the best chicken replacement that I've had. I gotta bring this over to my friend's house. I'm gonna bring this over to my friend's house. Let's back this up. Hmm. <laughs> really tastes awesome. like chicken. <laughs> that was awesome. Everybody loved the Kentucky Fried Chicken of the Woods mushroom. I am telling you, that mushroom is mind blowing. It tastes just like chicken. Tastes just like chicken. Gang, all the people you see scrolling over here on the side are the members of the Sauce Squad. You could join the Sauce Squad over at patreon.com slash sauce dash for only like a buck a month. You can pay for a little bit more or join for a dollar a month. Every little bit helps. I appreciate all of my Sauce Squad. And if you haven't yet, make sure you click the subscribe button and you can click video right here. This is most likely to be my mushroom series. Or actually this video fits in my mushroom series and my chicken series. Click either one of these videos. Thanks.